Just a quick FYI before the video starts, something happened when I was uploading all my videos into my external hard drive and none of the videos had any accurate dates or days on them. So this vlog won't have any dates or days. Just know that it was filmed in mostly the middle of February to the end of February and then a little bit of March. Sorry about that. I like the feel, but I don't like the pink. I don't know how much to talk on this vlog. Uh, it came out super duper pretty. Look at beauty. I put it on my iPad to see what it would look like. I think it's coming at its time. Become a member. So by the time this comes out, the thing should be out. This is my theme. I'll also show these on the screen. <laughs> Is that not cute? Look at all these stickers I have. The stuff that I got. My Happy Death sticker sheet. I think that should be good. I like saying creative. You guys, look what came. Bum, ba ba bum, bum, ba ba bum. Probably gonna have to see it again in the morning. Okay, I like the feel, but I don't like the pink. How did this pink go all right, but this pink didn't? What happened there? Should I switch this pink to this pink? I love the finish though. I don't like the pink on this side. Yeah, the pinks are off. All the other colors are right, but the pink. Ah, uh, here we go. But they got my old pinks right, so I wonder what went wrong with this one. Is it because it's Pantone? The finish is really nice. The photo is nice. Let me show you. When editing this, it's probably going to look more pink than what it is, but yeah. It's morning time, so I can show you guys what this looks like. In the morning, again, when I edit this, the pink probably is going to look different, but you know what? Future me, turn off the coloring for a second. This is what it looks like as you see all the other colors are right but the pink here so it's just like well no i was wrong the purple on the back the purple on the back is a lot less saturated so i'm going to dig into my pantone colors again work on actually the purple on the white looks fine okay you can put the coloring back on but what i was saying was the purple on the white looks fine but on the background here it looks wrong all the other colors literally all the other colors look fine except for the pink and purple the purple on the front looks fine too so like i don't know what went wrong i'm gonna try <sighs> this is just trial and error but i am gonna try a different pink this isn't my usual pink pantone which is probably where i went wrong so i'm going to dig into my pantone colors again or oh, well no this is my pink pantone but it's not the typical one that i use so i'm gonna try again i love what was it sad material this and i think my customers will love it too i mean i love the overall design it looks really cute but I don't want to have to, but this is what it look if I was to hang it up, like it's cute. And this is like a little fence, but like it's really cute. But the <laughs> uh, I gotta see how to fix the pink, or maybe it's the finishing that's making it darker. I'm really not sure. I'll see if I can talk to them, but if I can't, I'm probably just gonna try to edit the pink. I really want pink though, I don't want to have to choose another color. So, well, literally, all the other colors look fine, everything. So, yeah. I made these too big, but these are only my own samples, so. I 
I think except for the depth of the brown, I like the brown on here, but this is the actual color, which means I think I want to make this darker on the print. I also think, I also think I want to make the purple a bit darker too. It looks darker right here, but I swear these are the same purples and they're not, or maybe they're not, I need to check. However, all right, let's, I accidentally, like, like I said, made it too big, but let's round these corners. How much of the corners they round on here? Like probably four or seven? No, it's probably seven. Yeah, it looks about a seven. Yeah, I just need to make them smaller. So ignore the size and I mean, I need editing me to turn off the filter. Okay, this is mine. This is the manufacturer. As you see, coating on the manufacturer one is very nice. Like it has a satin finish, which makes it really nice and quality. But me, I have a matte finish. Now, the issue is that this is more in depth, which I can fix that by just making this color darker, right? And I'll also make my potato a little darker so I can so they can stand out a little bit but okay put the filter back on because with the filter on i'm just going to be honest with the filter my video on it's more color accurate to how this color looks it's not with the filter off this is what the back look like they're pretty similar except for this all my pinks are like darkest purple but with this the purple is a little dull and i think that's like that was my mistake because i don't think this is the pantone purple that i use i think i used a different purple and I'm just gonna go back to my Pantone purple. Should have stuck with that. But everything is better about my version, except for this has a satin finish, which I can fix that by investing in an Epson printer that can actually print cardstock in different textures. Like I can get satin printing if I want to, or something similar to that finish, just so that it's more heavy, right? So like I would say in terms of weight, this one carries a little bit more weight, the manufacturer one, because of the finish. This one carries a little less because of the finish however my version bends easier this version doesn't i'm not sure if that's something my audience really cares about the yellow is more defined on this finish because you got to remember this is a again a satin finish so it's just a little bit more thicker i'm trying to look at it close up but what i don't like about this satin finish one it has this weird pixelation stuff on it that my printer doesn't the color comes out a lot more fuller on my printer but i really like the pink of my printer way more than the pink of and all i would need to do is edit purple right hmm okay well yeah i'll think about this uh yeah we are having an outage so i am going to draw and film it since that's the only thing i can do i did get a case for my ipad it's a simple white one because i want to get accessories and stuff and i haven't picked yet i'm done okay you may be a wee bit confused so i intended to start the piece yesterday and then literally as soon as i finished saying what i was saying on the video yesterday i had like all this extra work to do and stuff come up so we are back again the next day and this time i'm gonna do my actual ipad cover i really like this ipad cover it's magnetic and it's very strong but this is how i'm gonna use it and this is how we're gonna do it So here is the sketch that I want to work on. This is going to be the sticker for next month's sticker mail. As you see, this girl may look a little familiar. I was inspired by my Animal Crossing game. Draw a similar inspiration of my character. So I sketched this in my bed. I may fix these glasses because I don't like the way that I sketched them. But all in all, it's a really good sketch. I think I wanted the face to be a little bit more chubby, but that's fine too. So yeah, I'm gonna do the glass. Hopefully I don't forget to do the glasses because I'm just gonna take, turn the layer off and then I'm going to turn this into a multiply layer. I, I'm not gonna lie, I really love how this new iPad feels and this matte screen that I got. I put this part in wrong so there's a little bubble and that was my fault, but it feels so, this matte screen feels so premium. It feels so good, I'm not even gonna lie. And do I know what colors that I want this to be? Absolutely not, but you know what I can do? I can either use this color palette, which is the color palette of something that I'm working on right now. It's a little bit different from mine. Uh, the values and some of the hues are different from mine. And then 
this is my main color palette. I just want to explain real quick the uncoated and the coated as you know i've said it on several videos i use pantone colors and my sister bought me for my birthday what was it two years ago now a pantone color set that covers both coated and uncoated paper so it's like it's in the color set is neon and pastels because she knows that these are like my main colors and the uncoated basically shows you when you have the swatches it shows you what it looks like so you you'll feel kind of like regular art paper maybe on the swatches hold on i'll show you the swatches actually or rather i'll show you the so this is the swatch is pastels and neons so solid coated and uncoated and that's what i use on here they have a whole panto program that you can download and put your register your stuff in but it basically this is uncoated paper so not glossy not some kind of satin finish or something like that and then coated is the like satin finishes the glossies the probably the thick vinyl a little bit but uh yeah so i typically use the uncoated when i'm working on prints that i make myself because i know my paper is matte thick matte paper and that's uncoated for stickers i typically use coated i'm not gonna lie sometimes i dip into the uncoated just a little bit for like underuse and stuff but anyway i typically like to start off with pink color oh i already made a layer i made two layers by accident a pink color because i never know like the um color story that i'm going for as you guys know i'm really terrible at that but as i was saying before before i interrupted myself february is almost over i hope you guys are having a really good february or had a good february i'm not sure if i can say i had a great one i had a lot of health issues that i had to deal with and i just felt like there was so much bad it was so much if i can talk about this there was so much like bad news just racism going on this february and it was just like <sighs> You know, you as a black person and a black artist, you have to kind of like get yourself ready for any sort of any sort of racism, but especially during Black History Month, which is so sad. I cannot get this jaw on right. This is real time how many times it takes me to do this. I feel like maybe I need to do it sideways. Yeah, a lot of race. I'm have to a lot of uh, race of this uh, this year Black History Month, and it kind of just ugh drained me. And on top of that, uh, the health issues, medical bills. It's just. Ugh. But I do hope you guys had a really good February, even though I did not i'm just doing main outlines of everything so i can get it like done because i want this to be more of a color block piece do i want this to be two separate layers the hair that is a good question i'm not sure hmm you know what i'll do you know on top of that i have to what are the eyes but i split like three of my fingernails so i just cut them off jeez i'm a danger Nice. We'll color this one in. Nice. Do I like that? No. I actually think I want to use a painter brush for this. I'm definitely going to have music over this, but I don't know if you guys can still hear the dogs. The dogs in this neighborhood be going crazy. Oh, and then everything in the Midwest has gotten so expensive in terms of living. So I'm doing this before I start my second job, which I have the luxury of saying is still work that I love to do. It is my web design, um, web design contract. Freelance works in terms of web design. I said that twice. Um, label design work, editing, stuff like that. And I call that a luxury because I still get to work with people that I love to work with and one of those includes one of my besties. She has a business and I've helped her from the <laughs> ground up, I guess you can say, of doing her business because she trusted me through her brand designing. I guess I should it. Uh, I guess I should say this because I often forget to say it. But ooh, that voice crack. If you go on my Behance, hold on. I need to see if I don't know if I want this to be a separate layer or not. You know what? I'll do it like that. 
if you go on my B hands right you will see that on the side I'll probably pop it up right now real quick but on the side I have my design work you know my Pinterest stuff and whatnot and if you ever want to see my design work it is on my design work portfolio of Pinterest I'm probably gonna have to redo that in particular because I'm using pink so I can't really see drawing the cyst for what you saw right now I'm using let me show you guys let me color it so you guys can see I'm using the symmetry tool and this is where I want the symmetry to be you can move it around of course and when you you can turn you can still have it on and turn off drawing assist but when you turn on drawing assist it'll basically do that thing that you just saw me do but you can turn it off and still have the symmetry line there if that helps you as well eyebrows let's use this brush again actually this brush gets things so precise which is why i really like jean sketch so this brush is from the jean sketch one that i talked about on my previous video if you haven't seen that video go and check it out of course but yeah what else can I talk about uh, you probably should you you guys probably just want a lot of people say they they love when I ramble which I think is so funny because I hate when I ramble because I have two as you can because I've seen some of my videos right and up oh, here come up playing but i've seen some of my videos and my rambling is so bad i hate I, I don't hate but i dislike my rambling because of the way that i will just keep going on multiple things oh geez how much time we on we're on 14 minutes on my thing let me go i'm probably gonna go a little bit faster just because I'm pretty sure I'm putting this in the vlog and not independently. But if you guys will want some drawing vids, let me know. I wouldn't mind it. Why did not lock that back up? effect with the brush the soft brush to get the grainy effect I'm so sorry Pink. I don't know why, but I kind of like it like that. 
I still don't like the flower. Should I have just one more white? for the glasses ah no 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 I don't like that that's sloppy it's ugly I think hmm Oh yeah, that's cute. That is cute. Maybe give it some contrast. Ah, that's gonna that's not gonna show on the sticker, Daniel. Not going to show on the sticker. You know what I need to do though? The way I don't know what I'm doing with this shine up here, but maybe it should just be without a shine. I don't know. Okay, so the last thing I gotta do is spruce this up. Maybe add some detail on the bow, maybe not. I'm not sure. I need to figure out the highlight because the highlight is wrong. I need to add a little bit more decal here. The issue is that <laughs> I have a lot to edit on this video of me drawing. It is like, so we didn't go with these glasses, but we went with some hard ones. I think the piece still came out really cute. I think this is so freaking adorable. I do, like I said, need to figure out how I'm going to do the shine on her. Sometimes the shine just doesn't work out the way I want it to work out. And that's kind of just the qualms you have to go through with drawing. I don't think I rounded them enough, honestly. I'm probably going to play around with the shine a little bit, see how I want it. I was going to do a shine on her skin, but I think I decided against that. My dog came in here and it's just huffing and huffing and huffing because I'm not getting her attention. Can y'all tell she's spoiled? I can. You fix this up a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to stop here with this drawing. Remember, this is just a sticker. So I don't want to put too, too much detail because then some things could get pixelated. I do love how this turned out, though. The whole point was it to be flat colors mainly for this illustration piece and then go over it with a couple of shadows. I didn't really want too much shine with this piece. I've been trying to like get into that a little bit, but I love how I did the hair especially the little tails right here I may make this part a heart but you guys will see later on anyway I hope you enjoyed this part of the video I know this is probably super long because I see the time and I know what I have to edit but I'll see you guys in the next video or the next clip peace out
Oh, and the pink matches perfectly. I was scared the pink wasn't gonna match. But it matches! Oh my gosh! It's perfect. Perfect! I forgot to show you guys I forgot to show you guys um, how these came out I figured you didn't want to see me cutting these and stuff but I should have showed myself designing them I completely forgot let's see if we can there we go um, this is how it came out it came out super duper pretty I did have to do I had a mistake the first one I saw the first one the first one it was like way too dark it probably looks I'm not sure what it's gonna look like in color correction when I do the edit on my video but this is so dark off camera it is so dark and I was like what happened and I realized that I didn't use my Pantone pink like I was supposed to I used a different pink and I forgot to switch it back when I was done I was using a different I was using a different pink to see what the shading was look like, was gonna look like and i forgot to switch it back to my pantone pink so ooh, out of breath so this is what the print looks like happy living mm, if you guys know what's is inspired by if you follow me on my instagram and or threads i never plugged in threads before but i kind of do what i do on my um personal instagram is where i kind of just post cute things but also my art and stuff as well if you follow my threads accounts then you know what this house is inspired by it came out so cute though i printed a lot um because i had new monthly members and then the sticker came yesterday come on look at beauty i put it on my ipad to see what it would look like it is so cute it came out perfect and when i talked mind you uh for anybody curious i don't gatekeep around here i'm sorry my voice is slow it's just my asthma is getting to me today so i don't gatekeep around here i manufacture with one of the manufacturers i manufacture with is sticker ninja they are I believe consider a small business as well. I know, I do know a lot of other popular artists work with them as well. They are super nice people. You can get somebody to talk to. And so when I was doing this sticker, just because I had an issue with my other manufacturer and my Pantone pink that I use. So this is the Pantone pink that I use. They couldn't convert my Pantones. And so it came out in CNYK and my stickers came out this dark, ugly pink. The thing is they didn't have on their website that that's what they print in and i said i said do you guys print in cmyk you don't convert or anything like that and i was like maybe i missed it on your website and they apologized because they did say they need to update their website and yes that's what they do they did they gave me um they were going to give me a refund but because i wanted to keep working with them and now i know what like specific stickers i want to manufacture with them i said i still want to work with you guys i just know that i won't be trying to use my pinks with you guys because it's it's a hassle trying to go back and forth and stuff so i was like if you can just turn my refund to a credit because i already knew what other stickers that i needed manufactured but i talked to sticker ninja the representative that they gave me to talk to with this sticker and whenever i talk to them they are super friendly they're super nice if they see a mistake on your artwork or if they see something that if you ask for their advice because you can do that they'll give you like oh we can do this with your sticker maybe you want to do that so i said hey can you make sure my pink comes comes out as bright as possible i use the pantone pink all the colors that i used on here are pantone colors but the pink is very important because i know a lot of places do cnyk and i kind of forgot to convert it and they were like yeah we'll try to get your pink as bright as possible and they did it's so freaking cute look at that so cute it literally came out just like the the colors came out just like the digital art print love it so much and again if you follow me on my threads account or even my personal instagram Danny the potato you know what this character is inspired by but she's so cute and this is the two of them together so freaking cute so adorable oh the office is a bit of a mess not a bit a lot a bit a lot of a mess but I'm gonna clean up my area a bit and then I'm gonna get to packaging these because I want to get them out this weekend to get to everybody yeah I'll show you guys what I'm doing right now this one that's cute maybe let's do a couple more i don't want too many of the pinks to clash i think that should be good
a little bit. You guys so i was printing out the new folders honestly i need to get these manufactured but i want to change my business address soon which is the only reason why i haven't gotten like this manufactured to where i just have to put the people's addresses on her i think it's time to give up on my printer look at this this has happened in the past couple of times calm down it's printing out more right now but this has happened. The only time this doesn't happen is when I'm printing my prints, like my actual prints, which thank God, right? But it just randomly spills black ink. And then you're probably going, well, just clean it, which I have. I've cleaned it and I even set it through its cleaning process that it's supposed to do when this stuff happens. And it just keeps happening. Now, I've had had this for I think three years now three or four years it was 2024 I think about four years <sighs> you know what's crazy I've never had to change the ink out once the like like to refill I've never had to refill it once and I was like when am I gonna need to refill this but like it's four years later I use this printer almost every other day and I haven't need to refill. so like it's a great starter printer if you're starting a small business a sticker business it's a great starter printer but yeah we're going on i think year four now and i think it's time i was going to save up and get an epson anyway but i was hoping i could probably still use this printer for prints but yeah i think i think it's coming at its time bro uh, so i'm sorry to my monthly members who are going to have random black ink on your stuff you've probably gotten it the past few months because it's slowly becoming a bigger issue so i'm so sorry for this Look at all these extra stickers I got. 
So if you want these, you can sign up. They're gonna go at the member shop after this month is over though. So for members, if you wanna buy more, you can. the potato mill stickers on the back because I ran out and I don't think I have enough sticker paper to manufacture to to do them myself right now so I'm probably gonna put another sticker on the back I need to package hers probably put another sticker on the back and I will get these out today or tomorrow become a member FYI all information is always in my description including um what I shoot with what I take pictures with and I promise you a majority of the stuff is portable because I am always on a super budget is this not cute I'm in love with this sticker oh my gosh become a member <laughs> Okay, good morning everybody. It is so yellow, so hopefully I can correct this as much as possible and color correct it. So this morning I have stuff to do. Um, I don't know how much I've talked on this vlog thus far or how much I'm going to keep talking just because during this time, at least this time of this recording, I'm getting my teeth fixed, so which causes pain in my jaw. I do have some pain right now, actually. So I'm not sure how much I've already talked because I just got my first phase done of my teeth. FYI, guess what I found out? I'm a very sickly person and stuff like that. So throughout my years, I've taken lots of different medication. Apparently, it can damage your teeth. <laughs> So I am, uh, I've been saving up and working hard, which is why I also need to thank my monthly members as well, of course, and all my customers, but especially my monthly members, cause you guys really help come through when I need it. Typically I use that money to set aside for future business stuff and whatnot, but um, I'm standing up. That's why it looks so weird. I'm standing up, but because this is an emergency, it's been helping fund my teeth so ah oh, my jaw hurts <laughs> so anyway i've been by the time this comes out the theme should already be out i shouldn't be standing like this it's so yellow i wonder if i should should i move i'm gonna try to move that's worse i'm sorry this awkward position is going to have to work for now because it's so freaking yellow the sun is coming like from right here and it's so look look at the reflection on my glasses it's so freaking yellow but yeah so today by the time this video comes out the theme should already be on my website it is one of the best things that I think I've made. I made it for tablets and phones. During this time, I'm still roughing out the edges with Android because I do have an Android phone, but I know that Android has like the theme thing now. And I don't know how to put it in the theme store. I've seen other people do it, but I'm trying to figure out how to do it for mine. But if not, you're just gonna have to do it the old school way. But yeah, so by the time this comes out, the theme should be out, but 
during the time right now i'm working on i finished the theme i finished the promo pictures i just need to retake one of the photos and i need to polish up some of the promo designs because all the icons are hand drawn by me and i took my time so which was actually really fun and it seems like people on threads really like it a lot so i need to finish that up finish up the promo i have some stuff manufacturing should be coming in soon my new mushroom frog sticker sheets because i wanted to get that out i wanted to get that out during spring so my mushroom frog sticker sheets are coming in i changed the design a little to fit what i wanted to fix unfortunately my star stickers that i was working on i'm still working on that because the color has been off however there is another set of luna lemon i created some luna lemon stickers and i want to get those out as soon as possible but because of my medical emergencies it's kind of taking a toll on my wallet so something so i have to wait a little bit on the luna lemons i have some samples of the voted mouse pads that are getting manufactured right now. And I have another sample of another product that I'm working on getting manufactured right now. Hopefully they get the colors right. I sent in all the color codes and everything. I sent in the extra notes and everything. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit of what I've been doing thus far because most of this time, I don't have a heavy set vlog, like in terms of productivity thus far from this video on because I was working on the other videos that a couple of you guys asked for the instructional video. So I've been working on those. But the thing is, is that my MacBook is a 2019 and the constant updates that Apple has done is causing to, it's starting to take a toll on my 2019 MacBook. And when I tell you, it seems like every two seconds, the gigabytes are getting eaten up by nothing. I've even stopped video editing on my MacBook Pro because it was taking a toll on the gigabyte. And I've been editing purely on my iPad and I decided that when I'm ready to color correct I'll do that on my MacBook Pro because my presets are on there and you cannot import the presets at least what I've seen thus far you can't import the presets into the iPad Pro Final Cut Final Cut Pro version which kind of sucks because then I'll just do everything on it. my iPad has been so freaking sufficient efficient efficient it is probably one of the best investments I've made thus far with my tech because I think it's fast and it gets a lot of stuff done. And I got a lot of couple months free of stuff, including the arcade. I've been playing in the arcade when I need a break from work, but okay. this blabbering is going on for a while. I want to show you guys what I've been working on before I start work because I do have other jobs to do, other creative jobs, but other jobs to do that I can't record. So I'm going to show you guys what I've been working on. That looks so weird. Okay, I tried to fix the screen of this, but anywho, this is, this is my theme. I love it so much and I will show you guys. This is what I've been working on. I'll put the picture here. I don't really like the tablet photo too much, but I did do a mock-up again. I'll also show these on the screen. I took, I actually took these photos yesterday and this is on, I have a pink bed sheet. So this is on my bed and I put my little uh, decals that I have and I put it around the phone. And then that's how I made this mock-up. And as you see, this one is of me holding it. This was all on my bed, which just goes to show you that you don't need something fancy to do what you want to do. This is my Android phone. I showed what it looked like on Android. I actually took this picture like months ago because I've been working on this thing for a minute. And so this is actually a little bit ago and I still have the pictures. This is handwritten by me. This is so cute. I might make this an official font because it's so freaking adorable, but I want to see how to make cursive fonts like make them connect you know and i actually posted this picture on threads again i will a shameless plug here i will tag in my threads it's just at creative potato like my instagram but this guy, so many people like this and i was like really happy because that really encouraged me that my theme was looking really cute the only difference is that on this one i have a little bit of white in there and i took the white out for the final take of the theme here you are i also did some videos these were my promo videos that I did for my thing. 
doing. I created these mock-ups myself because I just found it easier than finding a mock-up online. I mean, if you can create it, then why not? Always, always though, put your watermarks on your stuff, even when you're doing like promo videos, make sure to put your watermarks on there. But uh, yeah, these are the wallpapers. And I think the only thing, let me see, the only thing I haven't done yet, this is promo. These are all my promo pictures. The only thing I haven't done yet is the official stuff. So when I look at my to-do, organize official theme files, upload them, do some TikTok, post some ready TikToks that I've already made, and then I need to do the email marketing for it. And then, you know, some other things admin-wise, like print custom receipts and stuff. But it looks like I'm on track with everything. I do need to move some of my promo files onto the official folder. But yeah, this will all be uploaded by the time it gets to you guys. Something else I've been, I worked on this weekend is potato. So I altered, actually, this is the one I want you to see. This is the one I want you to see because I corrected their mouth. So I did some emoting on potato and I'm really freaking excited. Hold on, let me do it like this so you guys can see it better. I did some emoting on potato. <laughs> and look, look, at, hold on, let me do it like this. Okay. Is that not cute? Anyway, I wanted a new chibi version of Potato. Kind of like how I have Sarcastic Bear with his chibi head because I did want to eventually make new Potato stickers and this is so freaking cute. So these e emotes will either be a sticker sheet or individual sticker, but <laughs> it's so freaking adorable. I made a new chibi face for him because like the circle, it, the circle icon of him which I will put up. It's cute, but it, like it wasn't like I want to miss the cheeks of the, uh, the potato cute, you know? So I redid potato here, and these are so freaking adorable. Like I kind of really want them as individual stickers, but I would probably have to do those myself rather than get them manufactured. I do prefer manufacturing stickers over doing my own. I prefer manufacturing my own labels, like using my sticker machine for labeling and stuff, because right now I need a new printer because it keeps leaking my ink. It, it, it's hell strong for a good like four or five years now but it does print my stuff sideways sometimes which is frustrating when you're using sticker paper and you're trying to do sticker sheets and stuff and it's printed out sideways so when you go and put that in the sticker machine the sticker machine isn't going to do it right because it got printed wrong so yeah right now i really love just getting my stickers manufactured and then using my sticker machine for doing my labels and stuff myself but like would these not be cute as a sticker sheet or individual stickers or both like they're so freaking oh my god potato is so freaking adorable like seriously yeah that's like the main thing that i wanted to record today because i have some editing and final touches work that i want to do oh and for monthly members in march i did I did this cute thing. I think it is. I say this literally every time I do new potato meal. But like, is this not adorable? This is so freaking cute. And then I have, I have the happy living wallpaper. This is, this was cell phone. This is cell phone compatible and tablet compatible. And then I made the girl into the wallpaper too. Isn't that cute? And then the third wallpaper was just this flower uh, plaid background that I created. I actually have it on my computer. It's so cute. But remember, if if you are a monthly member anything on the member shop store is available to you as long as you're a monthly member and you get discounts on the downloads when i do put like buyable downloads on the member shop just an fyi because i still don't know how to transfer the coupon onto my shop so i just anything downloadable i just re-upload on the member shop so they can use their discount but yeah so freaking adorable okay let's see if i can oh, oh well i have a lot of things to get done so i'm gonna go do my work just wanted to show you guys real quick what everything looked like i'm trying to think of anything else i don't think so do you guys think that i should make these official stickers on the shop because i have so much of them hold on let me show you look at all these stickers i have i have a good chunk of monthly members but definitely not this many so if you want to become a monthly member sure if you guys think i should put this on a shop because i'm pretty sure this is way more than what i asked for yeah this if i count this this is way more just looking at the stat but she came out so freaking pretty so freaking adorable i gotta put all this stuff up i got these new bins there you are right there i got these to like hefty bins and I should be able to put some more stickers in there.
you know what and for people just now finding my vlog i guess i'll show you some of the stuff that i got this is magic marshmallow they are a marshmallow that comes around every winter and brings like snow fun you can also find character information on my website on their character page this is shiny the introverted star i actually need to make their character page but it is as the name says this is a very introverted star played off of my personality of being very introverted and they are always in the spotlight but they hate being in the spotlight they're so good at all the things they do and then you get this character card on the back which i am going to update now that i've changed the designs of the character card I also have shiny and magnet form and it's a glitter magnet you also get a character card on the back of that as well but this is a glitter magnet this was my holiday ones. This is potato mail. This was with my old manufacturer. So these keychains are probably going to be updated to fit these keychains, you know? So this is just acrylic keychain. They are cheaper than these because these are epoxy. This is just simple acrylic. You will get potato. Anytime you buy a character, you will get a character card. I just need to finish my current character card. So I need to do that today, actually. Too. And next up, I think it's Sarcastic Bear. But you will get a potato potato character card with any potato product that you buy it doesn't have keychains and stuff but like this is like my keychain area and then like that's my happy dust sticker sheet and you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven stickers this is my magic marshmallow sticker sheet and these are like super high quality because i get them manufactured from sticker ninja the small company they are so freaking great and with this one you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen stickers i do have discounted happy dust sticker sheets because it's my old design so new design old design new design old design this new design is the one that's going to be the mouse pad that you guys folded on. then of course i have a whole bunch of other stickers like potato i need to just sit down and show you guys all my stickers one day you can go on my shop though it's full of stickers <laughs> it's full of stickers but i kind of want to do more you know like most artists i want to do more than just stickers i want to get the mouse pads done and i have an idea for a long mouse pad i have an idea and yeah so we have the mouse pads and stuff i do want to do more stationary i am experiment if you're monthly member you will be constantly updating on the stuff i'm experimenting with but i am experimenting with some new products because i do want to get into more diverse uh stationery other than just stickers you know the typical stuff and like several of the other things so i hope you like that chaotic mini tour i am i do need to sit down one day and just like show off all my stickers that i have but uh it's a monday i'm not doing this on a monday i'm like i'm so frazzled because i have to clean up parts of the office and i I also have to um I have to organize some stuff i might organize the stickers tomorrow because i really don't feel like doing it today i do so much stuff at night but i can't film at night because the lighting is terrible but hopefully when me and my sister move where we move to we'll have better lighting so i can film at night and have more peace and quiet so you get more nighttime footage because i'm extremely active at night most of my creative stuff get done at night and in the morning i'm doing like admin stuff you know if you can relate you can relate you feel me and i kind of just wish is why i put some footage in here of me working on it was something you would have already seen in my bed because that's how a lot of my ideas come but i don't have room to record in there which would be just like the kind of like the angle that you saw it's just awkward trying to record it because i was literally holding my i was holding my camera trying to show you guys like like this but yeah i want to record more at night just because that's where all my creativeness happens and in the morning i'm doing like admin stuff and kind of getting organizing all my thoughts together organizing and all my stuff together and stuff like that but uh i hope you enjoyed this thus far i gotta get to work so bye bye i like saying creative potato